Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. One standard on Juice World and Eminem's Lacet that dropped recently. And just so you know, it amassed nearly 5 million streams in its first three and a half days on Spotify, as seen on Lil Bibi's IG story. And its streams has been increasing on a daily basis since it released. And today we have more on this, this time from Juice World's mom speaking on Lace It. And this has sparked some interesting reactions online based on the wild backlash Eminem was facing from some users on platforms like X, formerly known as Twitter. And we'll expand on this in a bit. Today we also have an update on the drama between NBA Youngboy and J. Cole. And this time, an interviewer is on the receiving end for a clip that went viral, as when he was asked in the interview, Everyone wants to know where he said he'd still do a song with you if you would collab with him. Come on, Grave Digger Mountain, we'll see. So you would do it if J. Cole came to Grave Digger Mountain, he'd do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gonna do it? I just negotiated it for J. Cole. Let him know. I just negotiated it. And we could do a clothing collab too. That would, that would go crazy. It would be dope. Oh my God. It would be fire. It would be unstoppable. We should try to make that happen. You want me to do it? Yeah. If I do it, you do it? Yeah. And we both come back here and then we do an interview, the three of us, about it. Yeah, do it. I'm gonna do it. And while this already sparked reactions like, dude, if something happened to J. Cole, we know who fit it, laughing emoji. But apparently, they made some kind of deal to cut this part out of the interview as NBA Youngboy went off on Instagram. When this clip surfaced online, he put the interviewer on blast. You're a dog bomb clown. Ain't nobody approved none of this you're doing. You tried with that bullcrap bomb clip with J. Cole, saying he'll be able to remove anything if he wanted it out, then released it. Dead clown walking. And he had more to add on IG when he urged users, go report this page, this clown unprofessional and clout chasing. And while his response got some wondering what was wrong with what she posted, the user cleared it up. She initially said that they can cut it out after if he wanted. So he probably answered thinking that would be the case, but she still posted it. And NBA Youngboy is also getting clown for his reaction as some believe what a loser bro i genuinely don't understand why he has stands and even some self-proclaimed fans are walking away i don't know who yb audience is but it is no longer me but to be honest if they agreed just saying moving on Thanks to a recent report on Lace It from Rolling Stone titled Juice World and Eminem, one of addiction's vicious cycle on new song Lace It, we got to hear from Juice World's mom, and I quote, In a statement, Higgins' mother, Camilla Wallace, said of Lace It, I can recall Jared playing Eminem's music on repeat at home because he was a huge fan. This is a bittersweet moment for me. I am happy that Jared had a chance to make music with someone he admired and sad that he could not be here to take in the moment. Jared left us too soon. And based on some of the criticisms so far when it comes to Lace It, since some even accused Eminem of using Juice World for clout and even turning Juice into an anti-drug PSA, this report stirred reactions like, can't believe ignorant fans really thought this wasn't a good idea or something. Juice adored Eminem and damn near based most of his rap style off Eminem's older music. I'd bet he would be happy as hell to make as many songs as possible with M. And what I find fascinating Fascinating in all of this is that many rappers we know today grew up listening to Eminem and studying his music. Kendrick, Cole, all the way to Takeoff and Juice World, which makes you wonder what people like El Jamar were on about when they made wild claims. And some have concluded Juice's own mother respects Eminem, yet so many of his fans can't. Instead, they have been crapping on him for days. These people don't actually love Juice, they don't even love hip hop, they love attention. And moving on, we have more from 50 Cent when it comes to Brother Love, as he shared this recently on IG that goes, Brother Love says he will pay you in 24 hours if you have valid receipts. Did he keep his word? Yes or no? Anybody thinks I owe him some, show me the receipt. You get paid in 24 hours. The settlement comes one day after word of the lawsuit was filed where she accused him of assault. 
50 Cent shared it with the caption, eyes emoji, he ain't lying about that one now, here they come in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And while some stay mad at 50 Cent for going at Diddy, some believe, dear lord, please don't ever let me do anything to piss this man off because my spirit couldn't survive this level of violence, folded hands and laughing emojis. And check this out, 50 wakes up with a cup of petty in one hand and violence in the other hand, laughing emoji. That will be all for today, share your thoughts below, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.